Ah. Oh, there it is, get it. Oh. Hello and welcome to a very cold and very snowy Scotland. I'm up in Scotland with my friend Lyle for a few days and we've got lots of photography plans. So it's gonna be a good day. We've got wildlife stuff, we've got landscape stuff. So come with me. to this absolutely stunning forest and Lyle is currently setting up the bird feeders and things to get the wildlife shots that he wants that I'm going to hopefully try and get as well with if my skill will support that but while he's doing that I'm wanting to try and capture a shot of these just absolutely beautiful trees. I'm finding it quite difficult at the moment because I can't really find a composition just stood here. The trees look absolutely stunning and the light from the sun is just catching them so perfectly and they look beautiful, but I'm just really struggling at the moment to isolate one and make it work in, a, in an image. I'd like to try and get one that's sort of isolated in the sun with a slightly darker background to provide that contrast and set the subject apart, but we'll have a little explore around and see what's happening. I just don't think I'm really going to be able to make this happen now. I found this tree here and I've got decent access to it here. I've got the sort of woods in the background there and this tree covered in snow and it's looking absolutely beautiful as the sun is coming from up over here, striking through the tree, putting a nice little leading line into the snow, a little strand of light in the snow which leads you up to the tree. I don't think it's going to work though. The problem I'm having is although to my eyes it looks sensational, sensational, but as I take the image and we put that 3D world down into a 2D world and the image gets flattened, you just lose it. You lose the detail of the tree and it's just not working. What you would need is some way of isolating that tree with some mist or some, I don't know. It isn't there at the moment so it's not working. Disappointing really for the first shot of the trip, but Staying positive, it's only the first location of the day and I'm now going to go and get some wildlife, so staying positive. Okay, time for a little bit of wildlife and here in the Cairngorms where I am at the moment in Scotland, it is pretty much the only place in the UK where you can see a small bird called the crested tit. It has a kind of fan on the top of its head. It's small. It's really quite an interesting little bird and that's what I'm going to try and capture right now. I'm not massively into my wildlife photography. I'm particularly not into shooting small birds very often but it is quite good fun every once in a while to put yourself to that challenge to try and capture an ask wildlife shot because it is slightly more time sensitive than landscape photography. You've got to be in the right place, get as close as you possibly can, and then get all the camera settings right, and then focus and track and 
get everything in place to capture a really nice shot. So it is an enjoyable challenge and that's what I'm doing today. I'm here at the visitor's centre in the Cairngorms and there's a feeder up in the tree there that the centre have provided to keep the birds interested in this area and to get the squirrels to come as well. I'd love to get a squirrel shot today but I'm not sure how realistic it is that that's going to happen. This branch down here where some of the nuts have been falling toward it seems to be a really nice spot. It's a nice composition. The background is a little bit busy but some of that sunlight coming through the trees and then hitting the birds as they sit on that little little branch is making a really nice shot and that is going to be the composition I go for. So for this I have my 400mm f5.6. It's perfect for wildlife. It's light, it's easy to carry around, it's got really fast autofocus which is the important thing for this type of photography and it's cheap and it's just a great lens all round. So that's what I use for my wildlife. Now settings wise, at the moment I am at f5.6 because I need to blur that background as much as I possibly can because like I say it is quite busy and really I want as clean a background as possible. And then ISO I'm at 800 at the moment and that's just to balance out my shutter speed which at the moment is I'm rolling between 1000 per second and 1250 because you need to get the shutter speed as quick as you possibly can with wildlife photography and particularly bird photography even though these birds are stopping they move so fast so you need to have that nice high shutter speed get focused in as best you can on the eye as well so you need to be quite accurate with your tracking and with your focus and that's why generally I will hand hold it as well it's just on the tripod at the moment while I film this piece then it's just a case of putting the camera in AI servo mode so the focus system tracks the bird as it moves as you keep it in that focus point the 5D Mark IV does have lots of different focus modes I just prefer to track it with sort of between one and five focus points to keep the bird sharp on the eye or keep the picture sharp on the bird's eye so I'm going to have a little go to capture one of these Christies persevere a little bit and see what I can come up with. So I'm down on the ground and I'm really struggling at the moment. Where I was before I was just shooting too far down at the birds and I wasn't quite getting the perspective that I wanted so I've had to get down and dirty in the snow. I'm shooting back towards the birds. There are patches of sun coming through the trees so I'm trying to wait until the birds are in that patch maybe on a branch maybe on the floor in the snow. I'm not really sure but I'll try both and see what I can get so let's have another little go. There's one on the branch now. Let's see if I can grab that. Ah, ah there it is. Get it. Ah. Let's have a look at that. I'm going to crop in a little bit. Yeah, that actually is looking pretty good. It's pretty decently sharp on the eye. I think that one might very well be usable. Let's have another go. It's good fun. Right after that wildlife we've come to do a bit more landscape photography and I've come here to what is called I think if my pronunciation is correct Loch Morlich. It is in the Cairngorm still and behind me here you can see the absolutely beautiful Cairngorm mountains and they are currently covered in snow. Now the composition I have is fairly straightforward and if like you can see behind me the loch wasn't completely frozen I don't think I'd be particularly interested in this image. It doesn't happen that often when it gets snowed across the top of it as well, which is what's happened today, which is why it's so white. It's frozen snow and it's quite interesting and I want to capture it. So I've just had a little walk along and I've found these rocks in the foreground here, which again have had a spattering of snow on top of them and they look really, really good. What I'm going to do, because the, the mountains behind me as well are quite flat, across the top I'm going to do a panorama to try and get it all in and create some kind of composition which really gives some scale 
to the scene I have here because it's just absolutely massive. Now settings wise, I'm, I'm at F11 to get everything in focus and then I've got a shutter speed of 1 60th of a second and then just very simply rotating the camera around and capturing it all uh, with the panorama. It's about an hour or so before sunset. We're probably just coming into the golden hour and it's casting some beautiful light across the scene. I'm keeping the sun out of the image to the right hand side. I've got the lens hood on to keep the sun out of the shot and then I'm just panning round. I just need to wait though and be a little bit patient because at the moment there is a little bit of cloud cover and I'm getting patches of light and at the moment the sun is not hitting those pines across the loch and I would like that because as soon as that warm sun hits those trees and that the snow on those trees it's going to warm up the image overall and just really add another element to it so let's take it let's pan around and I'm just using the scale on my tripod to go around let's check that It's been a really great day today, although very, very difficult. I find every time I come to Scotland, you are sometimes just overwhelmed with the scale of the place. When you don't know the area and you're not quite sure where to go, it can cause an element of difficulty, especially when you're trying to make a video as well. It just adds to the pressure. But I hope you've enjoyed seeing a little bit of landscape. I'm happy with the bird shots I've got and I hope you enjoyed seeing me capture them please leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this i'm sorry i missed last week but uh situations arise that i can't always stay in control of so i had things to deal with and i missed a week for the first time in well since i started first man photography so i hope not to do that too often but i didn't mind having a week off i hope i've come back with a video that you've enjoyed and i'll see you on another one very very soon please do subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already hit the notification bell so you see all the videos will hopefully be another one coming from scotland next week and i'll see you very very soon i'm adam this is first man photography in the very very beautiful cairngorms in scotland out I've just had my very first drone crash straight into a tree. Thankfully, it fell out when I got it back.